U.S. Army medics say 90% of combat deaths happen on the battlefield. This morning, soldiers trained at Fort McCoy to prepare for these life or death situations. News 19's Marcus Oswald gives us an exclusive look at some of these tactical simulations. How are you doing? Uh, doing okay? Army Reserve Specialist Atori DeMaselli takes care of his injured comrade. All right, I got you, bud. I got you. His sergeants make the training more realistic by upping the ante. The instructors uh, will try to uh, rush you a little bit um, and try to make things as chaotic as possible. Chaos makes the fake injuries feel real. It could be anything from like a, a rollover in a vehicle or a gunshot wound or um, any kind of a shrapnel blow to um, that individual's right chest. Degrees. Soldiers practice They've relieving the, the pressure that builds after through. suffering so chest right wounds. Here. Stabilizing the, uh, the patient uh, as best we can to control bleeding, to help with airway management, um, and to stabilize the patient before a higher level of care. Saving Let's lives before medic forward. teams arrive to take over. Great it's job. an annual simulation where they train so that if they're ever faced with these injuries in the real battlefield, they're able to save their friends' lives quickly. The toughest part, I think, is probably working under stress uh, and just getting that uh, muscle memory so that you can remember what you're doing. Um, and where it just comes naturally uh, in a high stress environment. Stressing out now so they can save lives in the future. Muscle memory kicks in, so it's not something you're thinking anymore. You just react to it because you saw it. You, you know what to do with it. Reporting from Fort McCoy, Marcus Arsvold, News 19. Combat lifesaver training is required for all military personnel. Today's session included a variety of Army firefighters, engineers, and even plumbers.